Yo, what's good, peoples? Alright, we back with the spy, Jupiter, radiation hazard. Whoa, hang on. Stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back. Y'all don't even know that. I just realized it's Jupy Spy. We don't use Loki for Jupy Spy. We use Evara for Jupy Spy. We are not. I'll tell you right now, we are not stopping to do secret doors. I'll show you where they are if we see them and they're ones that I know I will point them out and how to run through them as quick as possible but I'm trying not to make 37 hour long fucking videos anymore you know what I'm saying ah that's what happens when you're like dude I play fucking Loki every day oh Jesus this is horrible I didn't even look at my loadout so I'm a VAR with Dread, Ballistica Prime, and Telos Bolt Ace. Did you see that shit come out? Ah, uh, apparently it's like automatic charge attack or something. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Anyway, I'm literally just running around out here trying to regen uh, energy from, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, Zeneric, obviously. Not really excited about using Dread. This is a little bit hilarious. So this is Ballistica, right? Clearly we are at hip fire. My, my hand is away from the mouse. I'm literally not touching a single button, just moving the mouse. You can see that, right? Now, watch as we zoom in. See that? See it? See it? Ready? Full? That's it. Uh, it. It's like it doesn't even move. So my my ribbon, I'll actually let's see if we can link it here. Ballistica. Oops, I can't spell ballistica. Ballistica. That's like probably one of the best names actually of a ribbon that I have because that's one of them names like you see somebody link it something Critadra, and you're like, oh damn, that's probably good. Anyway, this happens to be plus fire rate, plus critical chance, and minus zoom. And it's fucking Ballistica. Like, I mean, how many people use this fucking thing? So, clearly, it's 5 Dispo. So, the numbers are kind of bonkers. Um, one thing I do like to do with Ivara is just kind of get from point A to point B as fast as humanly possible. Whoa, that was bad. There we go. This might be bad, too. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. I don't know where we're supposed to be going. Not that way. There we go. We got onto the rub something. Where the shit is the actual place? Is that it? Okay. So, as I was attempting to say before shit went to fucking chaos. Oh, look. A rad hazard. Um... I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing with this dread. It's pretty terrible. Like, I have zero farm on my dread. I just happen to have a really nice ribbon, which I'm sure isn't on there right now. So we really don't want to be using that. All right, so this is a red hazard. For Vault A, right, only one of the doors is going to open. And what we're going to do, just to keep everything as simple as humanly possible, is just melee the shit out of everybody. Like that. All right? And you're gonna see these little yellow consoles. So we wanna hack those. And as I'm sure you can figure out from what I'm already doing, I'm using an Ivara with the, uh, let's see, where's that? Oh, there it is. It's the infiltrate augment. Therefore, this guy's about to get assassinated. Get dead, motherfucker. There you go. That's so much damage. Auto hack. Okay. And now you can see that that's reachable again. We're just going to quite simply zoop right through all this crap and right back to the top. And now we'll just simply unlock the door. So we came from a different side. And I'm going to just refresh my energy real quick. 
I don't actually need to hack this uh, in Prowl, but it's kind of the safer choice. A clean extraction Just no all things mind. considered, you know? Alright, I was I started moving towards C for a second there. Sleep. So as you guys know I talk a lot about uh, parkour speed, parkour velocity, and why I use the uh, Telos. So as you see that's like a single jump, right? That's a double jump, single, roll, single, double, single, roll, double again, like you can make some serious distance really fast with good movements on Evara. Uh, especially, this is a mod that no one ever uses. I, at least I don't think they do. Perhaps they do. I never see anyone mention it anyway. And it's called Endurance Drift. It's a uh, Lua Puzzle Drift mod, obviously. This one is nine gazillion lasers and literally the only reason that I bring Ivara for this particular spy mission is because I can just do this for the entire fucking spy mission. As you see I have Carrier Prime as my Sentinel. That is a personal choice because I... there's my... you see that? I cleared from there to over here with a jump, pause, double jump, pause, roll, onto this. And we've rolled right up to there, right over to here, right up to here, right through your lasers, right through your lasers, none of your shit matters. Fuck off, you're irrelevant. And we're at the next vault. So as I was saying, you can see I'm running Carrier Prime. One advantage to running Carrier Prime Uh, with Ivara, of course, is obviously the lasers are all turned off now, so got nothing to worry about. Head on on back up. As you can see, my energy pool is just absolutely preposterous. I mean, 700, as I was mentioning, that uh, 750 energy uh, max cap. As I was mentioning, that Endurance Drift mod, it uh, gives you two fantastic things for Ivara. One, maximum energy. So longer, uh, you know, by default. So here's one of those secret doors, but you know, because of what we're doing, I'm not gonna bother. There's another jump, and oh wow, somebody shot me out of the air. I didn't even notice. That was good. Alright, all those guys are going to get foobarred because I put a storm path over there. I don't know if you guys know what storm path, but it's one of the passives on... Oh, shish kebab. Wow! I don't, I don't even know what I just did, but apparently it worked, so let's just go with it, right? Apparently that worked too. Alright, I'm saving my ass with some random ninja shit right now. I don't know what's going on. Fuck this noise, who are all these people? Why are you in my world? Go away. No really, why are you in my world? Go away. Like I said, why are you in my world? Go away. Okay. Uh, what happened to my 750 energy? Did it get reset when I fell off the map? Is that what happens too? You lose all your buffs and get reset to like spawn in energy? So, this one here, come in, I take the path to the right immediately, down, you're going to see a little grate here, I'm going to pop We've that grate, and you're just going to follow this around, no big deal, and drop down, and normally you would want to watch out for these lasers, here's your precursor, boom, there's a laser, that's what sets off the alarm, you got that spot there, and now you would run from here to there. All right, wait for the, you know, pause. So we're going to simulate. You know, now I would, I would be here, hiding. Okay. And... X laser, go. Except I wouldn't be Avara, so I could be running. And obviously I'm being Avara, because then I don't have to give a shish kebab about that. So 
We're gonna hope that radiation doesn't get me laser killed. It did not, thankfully. It's another one of those moments where I'm like, yeah, jumping is good. So here you just literally need to just parkour up. And it's just a straight bullet jump. Wait for there to be no laser. And once you're back up, prowl again. So you don't get nuked by any lasers here. Just in case. There aren't any, apparently. But just in case. And now we're back to another, like, laser situation. Right? Why is it that I think I'm supposed to be doing something? Oh, that's what it is. So there's a blinky here. Right? See this one? On. Off. On. Off. Right? And then there's that one there. So we gotta wait for both of them to be down. And again, just straight bullet jump up. That's where we're going. So when this laser goes, gone, off, see ya. And just in case. One of the things that I do like about our on Ivara is natural talent, or uh, if you have room for it, of course. Um, or uh, uh, speed drift is also another nice one. Although you're not using sprint speed, obviously, on Ivara. The, uh... Blarg! What was I just talking about? Uh, casting speed. That's it. Being able to inst... What? Literally, insta-prowl. You know, you land in front of somebody and hit three and they never even see you. It's that fast. It's It really is. It's kind of ridiculous. Um... You can do it with Loki, too. It's it's just a... You know, how how quick can you hit the button? Alright, no big deal. I will, real quick, come over here and just go up onto this. And we're just gonna stop here for a second. Alright. Now, you guys see up here on all this stuff? Right? There's a partner fragment. A Jupiter partner fragment that's up here. I can't remember exactly where. Otherwise, I would jump right up there and show you but I want to say it's somewhere on this area something like that but it's at this extraction and this extraction is always there almost always like you see it all the time so um, until I specifically myself make a guide regarding some of those Jupiter fragments personally I have not collected all eight yet so I'm trying to wait till I have all eight before I put together something for you uh, but I'm sure that plenty of other folks in the Warframe community have done so by now. And if you want to see exactly where that partner fragment's located, you can, I'm sure y'all know how to do it. Just don't use Google, use DuckDuckGo. And pretend you have half a brain, because I know you all do. Probably more. And thank you very much for your time. That's Jupiter Spy with Ivara. Uh, really, really simple, basic how to nothing very fancy uh just you know get in there get out get the vaults move it on nice and basic syndicate uh or syndicate sortie mission rather and uh, number three is an assassination so we're just gonna roll in there melt that dude's face and roll on out so there we go i'll see you guys momentarily